Micro-recycling actually acknowledges that in complex products like our phones and our laptops, you don't necessarily have just one type of material. It's not just about you know, the metals, it's not just about glass or plastics. It's about every individual material and every component and every part that is so intricately connected that needs to be recognized and reformed into high value outputs. We are committed to making a difference to society and to having global reach. The technology we are launching today is an exemplar of that commitment and that reach. It's proof that this holistic approach works and that UNSW is delivering on its commitment to be a servant of society. I'm delighted to be here for the official opening, although I've been following uh, what Vina has been doing with the team over a long period of time, as has my ministerial uh, team in the city. And it is a wonderful creative addition to the range of recycling infrastructure we have here in New South Wales. We can turn toxic electronic waste into high value metal alloys. And then, as we say, that can be put back into local communities. What we have today is precisely what UNSW sets out to achieve. Namely, under the framework of excellence, bringing together visionary leaders across research, industry and government to deliver solutions for Australia and the world. That's really what a micro factory is about, is to ensure that nothing really ever has to go to landfill. Nothing really ever creates toxins and pollutants anywhere in the world. Can we actually achieve that dream, that vision? Um, I think we can, and we are on that journey. So I commend you on the taking the complex, which is some of the most complex things you can do in life, to reduce to the simple and the real. <laughs>